Hi there, good people. Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today, I am, again, like Bangladesh weather is really, really bad. Uh, I don't know, for some reason, I'm always tired, you know, like moment you go out a couple of times, you'll be really burned out, you know, so uh, sort of like I'm going to sound a little bit tired. I apologize in the beginning. So I have two fragrances on my mind to review. First fragrance I want to talk about is from House of Burberry, okay? And I'm going to hold the mic as usual because, you know, when I put the mic there somewhere, and the sound is not that clear, you know, at least I can hear better when I hold it like this. So this fragrance is the fourth from this line of Mr. Burberry. This is called Mr. Burberry Element. I got it recent times, but I know this fragrance for quite some time. I've been testing it and I've been trying to buy it, but for some reason this is a bit pricey because I guess it's relatively newer. Uh, the last shop that I tried, they were asking for about $70 for it. You know, I, I'm not going to do $70 for Mr. Burberry, even though the retails can be that price, right? So hopefully you're doing good. We'll talk about this beautiful summer gem. Uh, there are a lot of fragrances Burberry do, does or do, uh, which, you know, like go unnoticed, you know? The reason being, not many people like to talk about Burberry. So let's see how good this is. You know, I definitely didn't pay the retail, but I like this perfume a lot. I have it on the paper pre-sprayed and this uh, blotters are courtesy of Fragrance BD as you can tell the names are there they gifted me this lot of these so I'm using them really nice touch okay very beautiful fragrance okay so one uh, apology from the beginning also that I actually have two other Mr. Burberry bottles that I want to show you I had all three I had Mr. Burberry EDT then I had EDP the dark bottle and then the final one, I had uh, Mr. Burberry Indigo. So I have Indigo and Mr. Burberry, these two bottles. They basically are the same looking bottle, but different coloration, okay? I'm just too tired to get them. I don't know where they are, you know? So I have the big boy bottle, 100 ml. I think it also comes in 30, 50, and 200 ml or 150 ml. There's a big boy bottle. But this is also big enough, okay? Beautiful uh, signature, Mr. Burberry. It's like a signature. It's 100 ml, EDT concentration. It says Burberry up top. Very sober color, sort of like a ceramic slash blue, light blue, uh, kind of like a grayish blue. I don't know what color this is. A uh, really nice color, sober color, not, nothing much to the box. The bottles, I really love. I'm a big fan of these bottles. They are really beautiful. Uh, this is how that bottle looks. It's, if you've seen one bottle, you guys know. This is pretty much like a gentleman with this trench coat cap. No, sorry, not cap. Trench coat button from a trench coat. And then they have the bow tie that's taken from the gabardine material of the Mr. Bur sorry, Burberry uh, fabrics. I really apologize. I'm really sorry. A little bit tired, you know, after the breaking fast and the food. I don't know, the heat outside. I mean, so sorry. Anyway, so this is the bottle is transparent. The color has like a little bit coloration at the bottom. It's like blue up there, a little bit fade up. A really nice presentation. Heavy glass, very solid feel to it. Let me show you the distribution. Uh, distribution is very good. Really shoots a lot of juice. And the uh, cap is really of good quality. This prices, I think, if you uh, wait for a while, this fragrance can be had for $35 to $45 when it hits discounters. Okay. Um, this is one fine fragrance. Okay. Let me spray some on the paper once again for the top, top note. And then we'll talk about it. Okay. Clicks on to place really fine. Okay, let me hold it here. This one definitely has a very nice little kick in the opening. It feels like there's a juniper note up there, but I'm not quite sure what are the notes in there. There's, I remember vividly long time back, I saw there was a mention of ambergris, which is not possible in this kind of price bracket. So perhaps ambroxan, okay? This one opens up really nice. Uh, they say there's an almond note or almond, almond. Uh, I still don't know how to say that, but I don't get that that much. It gives like sort of like a juniper kick to my nose with that oceanic blue accord. You know, if you like uh, blue fragrance, but this is not a salty one. At least not in the opening. It has this kind of like a kick, almost like a peppery kick, but it's actually, I think coming from juniper or something blue, fruity. It's like basically juniper, that kick that gives, I get it from this, okay? It's sweet, it's fruity, it's fresh, and then it's kind of like a wave-like, you know, think of uh, fresh, very fresh fruits in the water, summer days, very nice. Uh, it's not super light also, it's not very light, but it, it get, gives that opening. And after that opening, you know, it, it settles down to be a nice, uh, uh, mature fragrance. Some people compared this with, uh, think, Salvatore, uh, uh, by Salvatore Ferragamo, the new one, Salvatore, what's that called? Ferragamo by Salvatore Ferragamo, that one and this one people compare. So I have the leather, I have tried the leather, but the 
uh, that fragrance, you know, the Ferragamo, it really has that blue aura, but it has its own unique touch. This one, I feel there's some sort of uniqueness in this, and it's not a typical Dylan Blue or something's clone. It will smell familiar. Let me give it a proper sniff. It gives that sort of like a nice... Uh, familiar vibe it's a blue sort of like it's it, it will remind you of some fragrance but not a clone of anything that's the best part and i really wanted this because this one has good longevity you know like on yourself any mr burberry any of them they just last very decent time so is this this one is a very nice uh for freshy for this kind of fragrance it does last hang on to me for quite some time if you put some on your clothes okay you have to go heavy on the clothes let's say six to seven sprays it will cover your day's work perfect i would say uh, it smells like a swimming pool for some reason, you know, like the when you go by the swimming pool, you know, this kind of like a cooling vibe from the blue water or the blue, you know, those um, tiles, you know, it gives you sort of like a cooling vibe. On a hot summer's day, if you take a bath or just go for a swim and after that, maybe perhaps have a nice little, you know, uh, cooling drink or by the you know by the pool there's a small little bar with this nice olive in there you know this is what that reminds me of kind of like minty there's some sort of mint note in there let me see yeah i'm detecting some sort of mint in there but i'm not i'm not sure i'm just guessing you know like my nose is just i'm picking up from the familiar other fragrances very nice very nice uh interesting combination it's a safe perfume uh this fragrance is nothing to hate about it unless you are really not a big fan of freshies this one is not for you reminds me a little bit of uh <clears throat> afternoon swim by uh what's the fragrance louis vuitton yeah a little bit of that but uh it's not a clone of anything so good longevity price point wait for it bottles are beautiful does have good uh smell to it projection is Projection, it's uh, not very beast mode. I would say 7 out of 10, but still very decent fragrance. So this one, I wanted it. It will be redundant if you have 50, 20, like say 15 to 20 blue fragrances. Perhaps this will be redundant. But if you, let's say, it reminds me of David of Silver Shadow Altitude. A little bit. That one has a juniper berry kick. And also has a blue vibe. So if you like that one, you know, and you, if you finding difficult to find that uh david of silver silver shadow altitude this is a better fragrance than that right less blue more aromatic fruity kind of like a sharp uh fresh perfume so overall this fragrance is really lovely the whole line is lovely the edt is good for summer adp is good for winter and i think the indigo is also good for summer and spring this is also good for summer and spring underrated you know this is why it's nice okay if you spray some of it on your own like if you put some on your neck, it will really smell good and it doesn't smell artificial like Embrox and Heavy Bomb, okay? Very nice and smooth perfume. Mr. Burberry, and this is called Element. A nice little bottle. Overall, this fragrance, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Beautiful summer creation for you to try. Thank you very much for watching. Time for the second and final review, then I'll upload this. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.